Widespread technology outages across the globe are affecting airlines, airports, banks, and media companies too, including us right here at WKOW. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Charter. 27's Chloe Morrissey joining us live now from the Dane County Regional Airport this morning with a bit more on how things are looking at this hour. Chloe, good morning to you. What are you seeing right now? Good morning, Mark. Airports around the world have been affected by this IT outage. I'm inside of the Dane County Regional Airport where they've also been experiencing some issues. You can see behind me that some of the check-in kiosks are still offline from this morning. But now I want to bring in the airport spokesperson, Michael Rickers. And Michael, you told me that since 6 a.m. this morning you've been experiencing issues. What does that look like? Yeah, the, the delays really started this morning. Um, unfortunately, the delays tend to build on each other. That said, we have seen flights departing throughout the morning and even uh, early afternoon here. So flights are moving and we want the passengers to know that uh, j don't just assume your flight's affected. Some are leaving on time, others are delayed and others are canceled. So check with your airline to get the most recent up to date information. Has there been any updates since this morning about, you know, when things might start to get back to normal here? Our understanding is that the, the IT issue has been resolved, but of course the second and third order effects are, are going to be felt throughout the day for sure. So um, just to put it in perspective, right, if, if your plane is going to Atlanta and it's delayed getting to Atlanta, that means the plane uh, is going to be delayed every stop after until they can kind of make up that, that lost time, if that makes sense. So even if you're flying this afternoon, just keep that in mind. Yeah, and you were kind of talking to me a little bit earlier that not every flight might be delayed, but with potential delays, what is your advice for passengers today? Definitely check with your airline. Uh, because this was a technical issue, a data issue, um, we want to make sure that passengers are getting the most accurate information and the airline is going to be the most timely and accurate information they can get. So first check with your airline and then if you are coming to the airport to grab your flight, arrive early. Um, we've seen the lines get longer than they usually are just because, uh, like you pointed out, the kiosks might be offline. So arrive early, get through security, and then you have time to relax as, as long as everything's on time. Michael, thank you. And again, it is encouraged to check directly with your airline because as of now, it's still unclear what data in the airport has been affected by this outage. So again, things like the arrival and departure boards might not be displaying the correct times. Mark.